Hello, beautiful soul. My name is Angie Beats, and I am a clinical psychotherapist specializing in eating disorder treatment. And I am also recovered. And I was thinking this morning about the automatic thoughts that we have that we say to ourselves without even really being conscious of the messages that we are repeating. I noticed uh, as I've gone through kind of a challenging time in my own life recently that I had this thought that I was repeating over and over in my head and I was saying, oh, I just can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. And I caught myself saying it over and over, I can't do this. And I thought, well, that's sort of a bizarre thought because the reality is I am doing this. And so I began sort of retraining myself each time that thought came up. Oh, I can't do this. I can't handle this. This is too much, whatever. I started reorganizing that belief system to say, I am doing this and I am far more capable and competent than I give myself credit for. So somewhere tucked away is this old thought pattern of I can't handle hard things. And I wondered if this might be true for you, if there are automatic thoughts that come up, like these core beliefs that you have within inside of you that's like, I am incapable of whatever, or I am not worthy unless I'm a certain size, or um, I'm not good enough unless I'm making, you know, perfect grades. So catch those automatic thoughts and then check it out with yourself and ask, is that really true? Is that really true that I'm only good enough at a certain weight or at a certain GPA? And ask yourself if that really fits with the essence of what you most deeply believe in and then reframe it. Reframe it for yourself. I am worthy regardless of my size. I am worthy regardless of my grade point average or whatever the case may be. So check those automatic thoughts, see if they really hold true for you, and then see if you can rework them uh, to say something more positive when those thoughts pop up. You know, we don't have any control over the thoughts that pop into our head. We only have control in how we respond to them, if we buy into them. Um, and so really, it's powerful to recognize that thought pattern and then reframe it. It's like flexing a muscle in your brain to kind of retrain that uh, core belief or whatever is um, sort of repeating in your brain. This is too hard. This is too much. This is whatever. Um, and say, I'm doing this a moment at a time, a breath at a time. It's all going to work out just as it's intended to. I hope this serves you. I always like to share things that are going on in my current life because I think that most of the lessons that come up are universal and can be shared and applied. So I hope that this serves you and is a source of comfort and an actionable goal that you can work on to help retrain those thoughts. So take good care of yourself and all the best in your recovery.